Hi Sagittarius, welcome to the Soul Song. My name is Nina. If you're new to my channel, I hope you enjoy the reading and consider subscribing. If you're returning, welcome back and thank you for your continued support. I am looking at what's happening in your love life. We're looking at a timeline, past, present and future, for which I have drawn some cards already to give us some context of what's happening, okay? So we'll start with that first of all. Okay, I hope you're doing well. We have here iceberg submerged, okay. It's time to take action, new moon in Aries. Could be dealing with an Aries. So we have ice and fire, it's like the thawing of something that was frozen. <laughs> you've got bless number 22 that's nice so what I'm seeing this as for you Sagittarius is that it's really um, the two situations two scenarios that I'm seeing one is that somebody who um, maybe things didn't really work out with in the past or it could even be a secret admirer uh, who had feelings for you and who didn't really uh, take action towards you is approaching you, okay? Somebody is taking action towards you is what I feel. Could be an Aries, but doesn't necessarily have to be. And that's going to result in <laughs> a blessing, okay? Um, and that is usually an unexpected blessing, okay? Something coming out of the blue and surprising you. The other storyline or the other scenario I'm getting is that um, if you're completely single, this is time for you to sort of get out of that hermit-like energy, isolated energy and be bold and, you know, put yourself out there on the dating scene again, that sort of a thing. Okay, so we have the moon and the magician. Now the moon is definitely something going on beneath the scenes. It could be a Gemini, okay, but doesn't have to be. And we have the four of wands. This could be at a place of work or even, you know, somebody who lives around you for that matter. Um, five of pentacles. It could be someone you may have like separated from or there's like a gap, okay, a communication gap between you all someone is trying to work out the means to perhaps start something with you to build something with you and you may not be aware of this okay for others of you where this is the other storyline um, you have been doing a lot of shadow work perhaps okay and now you're you are Regaining your sense of confidence and you are trying to manifest a connection which is stable, which, um, you know, which is passionate, but it's also something that fulfills you, that makes you happy, okay? So those are the two scenarios I'm getting there for you. What's happening in the present? Page of Cups, okay. See, that's exactly this surprise, sweet surprise kind of energy, okay, that I was picking up on. Uh, somebody is taking action towards you, okay. Page of Swords, so lots of communication. The Emperor, so you have the Aries card here, so this could definitely be an Aries, okay. And the Fool, okay. Someone's ready to take that leap of faith, finally. <laughs> Okay, someone who may have been spying on you. This could be a secret admirer. Knight of Knight of Pentacles. This could be someone who's taken a really long time to finally approach you. And you see how he's looking at the magician? It's because you've, you're sort of glowing up now. You're putting out this vibe of confidence, of you know high self-esteem. And now they are finally gathering the courage to approach you 
seeing you glow as well it could also be the other way around that this person was trying to really <laughs> uh you know looking for the right moment to approach you and also watching you from a distance and trying to manifest something with you there are a lot of hidden feelings here okay either your own which are now rising to the surface and pushing you to sort of put yourself out there and take action and take a leap of faith or somebody else's but there are hidden feelings here and this person could be uh, you know someone who could even be in a powerful position maybe a boss figure or whatever but this is like the divine masculine energy and they are now coming towards you to start afresh okay to start a new to go on a new journey with you okay what's happening in the near future now for sagittarius we have the wheel of fortune so that is fate uh destiny something coming about sort of out of the blue okay the four of swords okay near future for sagittarius in your future eight of pentacles ace of wands mm could definitely be a fire sign i f- i feel like this could also be at work for many of you you're unaware of this it is going to take you by surprise is what i feel okay and with the ace of wands there this is a passionate new beginning could be a fire sign but doesn't necessarily have to be but you're going to have to make a choice you are going to maybe you have a choice between two people as well and look at you you're glowing okay <laughs> so you're in the right vibration i feel when it comes to attracting love so you are attracting suitors and we have two pages there so there could be you know in fact communication coming to you or offers coming to you from two people we have the emperor as well as the king of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck this could be definitely a work situation for some of you you know you have maybe multiple admirers and you're not aware of this you know there are people who do watch you uh, okay not perhaps in a in a creepy way but they do admire you and admire your qualities your beauty and everything from a distance okay and they see you working hard perhaps they see you uh glowing okay achieving your goals and they want to come in with this offer i feel you may like i said need to make a choice make a decision perhaps between two people or it could also be that you're completely oblivious of this you don't see this coming we have trust issues passion and attraction not surprised to see that we've got pulling some cards from my own deck Sagittarius what's happening here for Sagittarius flirting secret admirer and we have keeping an open mind compromise change of heart so this could also be you know someone who uh maybe you did start something with them previously but then it's fizzled out for whatever reason okay and uh, now they want to sort of reignite that passionate connection with you okay hmm but we have that secret of myra card there where's this heading now for sagittarius i want to see more i'm being a little bit nosy Where's this heading now for Sagittarius? What's happening for Sagittarius? Ten 
Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands, okay, and the Three of Cups, okay. I feel like you're ready for a new start. The Empress, look at that. You have the Emperor and the Empress. And there's the Hermit shining the light on the Devil. Yeah, don't let your insecurities, fears, inhibitions hold you back, okay? It's time to release that, to heal, to let go and embody this Empress energy, okay? And um, I think you are in that energy, which is why you're attracting people, okay? Connections. All right, let's get some messages from this person. If they could say something to you. What would they say? I had to be brutally honest. Okay. I have been through something similar before. Hmm. You're everything I've ever wanted and more. Maybe this person's been hiding behind the curtains because they're afraid of rejection or they are afraid of, you know, A repetitive cycle they may have trust issues as well okay let me just get that card okay let's see what do they want to say to Sagittarius let's take things one day at a time hmm I love you but something's missing okay I check your social media to see what you're up to. Mm. Definitely some spying action going on there. Um, you remind me of my past. So this person also I feel has been through some, they've been through the ringer in some way, but they are approaching you with the hope of perhaps, you know, a different outcome this time but they are quite guarded is what I feel I'm not sure you want what I want let's get some more oops it's too many I'm not ready to open up yet okay so this person's really scared, I feel. I will always love you. Oh my God. So I do feel like they will approach you, but they're going to take it very, very slow. And they are shit scared <laughs> is what I'm getting. Okay. You might even like, even though they are coming across as the emperor, you might intimidate this person in some way, you know. Um, they probably feel like you have options as well, is what I'm getting. So they may be afraid of that, you know, competition. They may be thinking that you're too popular, you're too um, brilliant, magnificent, and you can have anybody you want. So they may have a bit of a self-esteem issue, is what I'm getting physical touch a tender touch can mean so much this person's like really really attracted to you what can they look forward to Sagittarius the only thing that is real is love shift your focus back to love I do feel like you have a choice to make here all right spiritual connection a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime so this could be like a divinely guided connection which you know you may have a past life connection as well with this person be supportive so this person wants to be supportive of you make a genuine effort to show you care mm -hmm. and we have romance Lavish the one you love with attention and affection. 
Wow, at the bottom of the deck we have true love. This love is once in a lifetime. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to leave it there for you, Sagittarius. This looks interesting. I hope this helps and I hope it brought you some insight. I'm wishing you all the very best and uh, do take care of yourself. Let me know um, if it resonated with you and hit the like button if you enjoyed the reading. I'll see you again later. God bless. Bye-bye.